Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at the CCAC12 in-ear monitors or in-ear headphones or earphones. I unboxed these uh, earphones probably about three months ago. So this review has been a long time in the making and it's taken me quite a while to put the video out. I wanted to put it out a lot earlier, maybe like a week and a half, at least a week and a half earlier. But I live here in California, and if you guys have watched the news and know what's going on in California with the wildfires and stuff like that, and basically it's just been very hot. So trying to film or doing videos, um, making videos in this hot weather has been very, let's say, not good. It's very uncomfortable. Um, if I turn on the AC, the AC makes too much noise and you, you'd, you'd really hear it in the background and it doesn't matter if like I just filmed it or did the video and then put the sound in later, the audio in later because it doesn't matter because for me to put in the audio and everything like that, it would still be hot <laughs> inside the house and I would still have to have the AC on. So anyways. If you guys have watched any of my reviews, you know that they can get pretty long and detailed. And uh, so there, I'll put timestamps down below so you can get to the section that you're most interested in. And um, I'm trying to record this without all that glare, but I'll probably have some other videos inside of this one or narrative. So the CCAC-12, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go into an overview on these headphones or these earphones we're gonna go over the specs in this review and by specs we're gonna talk about the price the features the size of the headphones the measurements and um, the, the accessories that it came with for hardware we're gonna talk about the build and we're also gonna talk about how they fit in the ears how comfortable they are and we're going to walk through this, the, these earphones. We're going to walk through the hardware. Connectivity, we're going to go over how easily they connect to your devices being wired. Um, the impedance, you know, if, they, if you need to use like a headphone app or anything like that to get the most best sound out of these uh, in-ear monitors. And then we're going to talk about the quality or the sound quality, how they sound. Let's get into it, the CCAC-12. First of all, let me just say that um, I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you guys use the links in my description, it would really be appreciated as it would help out my channel and also my charity, The Wounded Warrior Project. I'm very passionate about supporting that charity, um, being a veteran myself. And uh, I know how hard it is for certain veterans who don't have the support or who don't have families to get help with certain issues and things like that you know anyways um, the CCAC 12 I paid for these um, I did not receive them as a gift from CCA I paid them with my own hard-earned money most of my reviews um, I'm doing a review as the part of a consumer and that's why I like to go into the history of the of the companies in my reviews because I like to know that if I'm going to get something or buy something regardless if it's in store or online I want to know that the company behind the product that I'm buying is a good company that should I have any issues or if there's a defect or a malfunction in the uh, product that I bought I can I can easily return it or I can easily get support and help for said product so CCA as a company they've been around I believe since 2018 first of all let's cut to the chase I'm not gonna make you guys wait until the end of the video to tell you guys if I recommend them or if they sound good. I do recommend these. Um, if I, wholeheart I wholeheartedly recommend them 
if you have an Amazon account, whether it's a regular Amazon or Amazon Prime, because should you ever have any issues, Amazon has very good return policies and you usually get your money back if you return these for a refund within like as soon as you scan that barcode for that they give you for to return it to UPS or whatever your money is almost automatically in the bank by the time you scan the barcode for their return if you if you get it through other means like uh CCA itself the company they do they I tried and I searched online for all types of searches for CCA and I couldn't find any company website. I did find a CCA company, but they were making like wireless earphones, not these wired ones right here with multiple drivers. But I do know, I've read in, in there in some forums and in other reviews that CCA is a sister company of KZ. If you guys don't know, KZ also specializes in in-ear monitors, especially in multiple driver monitors. And KZ does have a website. They've been around since 2013, making all kinds of different headphones and earphones. And they launched CCA as their sister company like I said, maybe in 2016, 2018. And um, whether it's through... The, there's another company called Linsol who sells a lot of audio equipment, a lot of KZ audio equipment and uh, CCA um, products. So Linsol has a big, like, has different distribution sites, mostly for Amazon, whether it's Amazon UK or Asia. Amazon US or North America and the same thing with KZ so with KZ being around since 2013 they have their own website and then CCA you can purchase them through Linsol the company Linsol or uh, Amazon you shouldn't have any issues if you you know got these and weren't aren't too happy with them as long as you return them within the 30 day um, return policy so yeah I do heartily recommend these and they do sound really good especially given the price of these earphones under $50 in most cases because normally Linsol or Amazon the company that you go through they, they usually have like $5 off or 10% off coupon codes for these um, or coupons for these uh earphones i'm just gonna say earphones from now on instead of in-ear monitors so you should have no problems uh if you're unhappy with these earphones on getting help or getting a refund if you get them through amazon and maybe also through linsol or what's the other one uh, aliexpress with aliexpress i'm not so sure i'm not so sure because that is a that is a company there they, i think they're in china and as with most um, stuff that you get in China, if you buy it overseas, it's kind of hard trying to contact them through telephone because of the language issue. Some of them aren't really fluent in English, although they can speak English, they're not really fluent. So there's going to be some miscommunication and you can email them, but then you know how it is with email. It takes a lot longer to... Um, get a response via email so as long as you get through these through Amazon regardless if you if it's Amazon UK Amazon Europe Amazon Japan Asia China or Amazon here in North America United States um, you shouldn't have any issues okay let's talk about specs so as of this time you can still get these headphones under fifty dollars, and where I got them, the the storefront that I got them on Amazon, it's called Brand Better. There's at this moment in time during this review, there are they are forty eight dollars and ninety nine cents, I believe. With and you can apply a five percent off coupon code with that. So the CCAC twelve is a twelve units hybrid earphone technology. You have six 
drivers in each earpiece. One of the drivers is a 10 millimeter dynamic diaphragm, dynamic driver. And then you get like five balanced armature drivers. And if you guys haven't seen my unboxing, I've mentioned how, what the advantages are to having um, an earphone or headphone with multiple drivers because when you have just one driver in a headphone or earphone that driver has to cover all the frequencies and depending on the size of the driver if it's a smaller driver you you might have good highs but you won't have good lows so if you're someone that likes bass you're not going to have enough bass if you're just having something that has to cover both high and low frequencies Whereas like something with multiple drivers, like so the 10 millimeter driver on these things, um, on these earphones will cover the bass, the bass and low free, low end frequencies while the, uh, the balance armature drivers are going to cover the mid range and higher frequencies like your treble. This, these earphones come in two colors. They come in gold, like what I have here and then a blue color or a blue accent over the uh, this brushed like metal color on the headphones. So the sensitivity on these earphones is 112 dB. So that is pretty loud. The impedance is 24 ohms, which um, is pretty low. Let's just say um, I can drive these headphones with pretty much any smartphone that has a headphone jack or if you use a dongle. The frequency response of these headphones, according to CCA, is a uh, seven on the low end, up to forty thousand hertz on the high end. So they are, at least based on their specs, they are high res audio capable. The wire that this comes in, or this comes with, is a three point five millimeter plug. In the pin type, it says it's a 75 millimeter, whatever that means. But all I know is um, you do need like the two pin plug for this thing, this wire right here. The length of the wire is 1.25 meters. So it's probably over three, maybe almost four feet or, or it is four feet. <laughs> One, so whatever 1.25 meters is. One other thing I forgot to mention about this wire is that other than it's a very good quality wire but it tends to tangle up pretty easily is that it comes in two varieties um, when you get these CCA. So not only do they come with a you know one with the gold or one with the blue trim but the wire you can get one with a microphone and one without a mic. I got the one without a mic not because it's going to be cheaper but they are for your info the one without the mic is going to be a few dollars cheaper maybe like two three dollars cheaper than the one with a mic but <clears throat> i don't like getting any i don't like using any type of um, wired headset that has a mic because i think it it degrades the sound um i've read that in a few articles that adding a mic into this uh into the wire that the earphones or headphones are attached to um kind of does you know makes the earphones or headphones sound not as good as they can and that's why if you've ever bought like really 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 expensive headphones or in-ear 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 monitors earphones you will see that a lot of the ones with the really expensive wire or cable will not include a microphone. As far as the size of these in-ears, they're pretty big. Um, just to give you guys a comparison. So just to give you guys a comparison on the size of these earphones, here are some of the other earphones that I have. Starting with, let's say this side, the right side, since um, these are my wireless earbuds and um, these are the ones that I use most likely when I'm at the gym. And these are also 
comparable to the uh, CCAs because these are also multiple driver or dual driver e earphones. So this Pfizer is a dual driver earphone as you can see right here. It has two dynamic drivers. And uh, compared to the CCA, they are a little smaller. Although they're almost as wide as the CCAs. And they have the same almost type of like design where it has a clear plastic or acrylic um, cover where you can see the uh, drivers on both. So that was the uh, Pfizer's. Here are my favorites for working out. These are my Anchor Soundcore Liberty 2 Pros. And I will do some comparisons in the future on like the sound, sound quality comparisons, a detailed uh, comparison. So here are the Soundcore. And there, I mean, it looks like the sound core might be a little bit bigger. But the sound core is also a dual driver earphone. It has a one balanced armature and one big, like 13 or, yeah, 13 or 12 millimeter dynamic driver. And this has a, a lot of bass, really good bass. And then the last of my current wireless earphones, these are the Strop Q-Pace. And as you can see, these are magnetic wireless earphones. So they're pretty comparable in size. So now compared to my wired earphones, as I have two currently, these are my Bang & Olufsen um, Bio Play in-ear earphones. I think they're called the H3. And uh, here we go. So the B and O earphones are a little smaller than the uh, CCA C12, and this is only a single driver earphone. Like I said, this the CCA has six drivers per ear, and then these are one of my favorite um, in ears of all time until I started using wireless for the gym. And that's my Radius Atomic Bass. So as you can see, the size between the two, the ra Radius is definitely smaller. And again, the Radius is uh, Atomic Bass is also a single driver unit compared to the six driver unit per ear on the uh, CCAC-12. Okay, so that is the size. Like I said, I didn't see any uh, specs on the CCA website or the Amazon website on the exact dimensions. But regardless, you guys got a sample of it compared with all the other earphones that I have, both wired and wireless. Okay, let's go through a little hardware walkthrough on these uh, earphones. So the wire itself, like I said, seems like it's a very good quality, although it does tangle up a little easily. I was thinking about replacing the wire to something less um, prone to tangling. But man, the wires for these uh, earphones are pretty expensive. You're talking about over 16, maybe over 20, almost $30 
for a little wire like this and uh there's some that it says like 16 uh fiber optic or something like that wire or this and that so <clears throat> each earpiece are both the same as far as like in they have a a brush metal look on the outside as you can see and they're very reflective right now and on the edge of it this these ear cups you can see the writing right here where it says 12 hybrid technology and then right here on the uh, acrylic or the plastic see-through is um the name of the earphone so you don't forget it says cca c12 professional hi-fi and then you can see the drivers right in there so like right here i could see two balanced armature drivers right there um the dynamic driver is right there some more balanced armatures over here and possibly over here too so like one two three four maybe five down there and then the dynamic or driver for base is right there in the center and it's the same way for the other side uh, the one thing that tripped me up on these uh, at first was finding which was the left or right earpiece right so I don't know if you guys can see it but the labels the wires the cables themselves are labeled and I believe this is left I don't know if you can see it right here by my thumb there's an L right there for left is that the L or is it right here no this is the right as you can see right there you can see the R for right so you would put this on your right ear when you have it plugged in and then this will be the left where does it say left they're really hard to see but yeah right here it says left or L right there no, that's as focused as my camera is gonna get so as you guys probably noticed or maybe not if you don't have these headphones these earpieces these earplugs are not the stock earplugs that they come with these earplugs right here um, came from my Sony extra bass um, earphones that don't work anymore and the same thing with this case it didn't the these earphones did not come with the case I borrowed the case from my old uh, Sony extra bases because like I said the extra bases weren't working anymore as you can see right here by the Sony label and what comes in a box so if you guys miss my unboxing I'll put a link in the description and I'm still trying to learn how to do the ones on on the screen but anyways what came in a box was your you know earphones themselves the wire right here and then you get extra tips so I believe the tips that came out of the box the silicone tips are medium size and that's the one that fit me the best and guys I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again if you want to get the best fit and sound quality take your time in trying out the different tips because when you do find it the right tip that fits your ears or inside your ears 
you're going to get the best fit as far as comfort and you're going to get the best sound and so the the extra tips are like small medium and large so the extra tips that came out of the box was the uh, small and the large although I'm missing one of my small ones right now I don't know where it is because I don't wear the small tips I usually go with the mediums and it also came with these mediums out of the box as you can see and then you have your large ones right there I don't know what happened to the other small tip but considering I don't wear the small tip I'm not going to be too worried about it right now so let's get on with the review so regarding the ear tips again one more time guys do find the proper fit try out all the ear tips and get to find the proper fit because when you do you're going to find the most comfort and the best sound so like I, like I said um, I borrowed the ones from my Sony extra bass which are memory foam and I will talk about them more in depth in the uh, sound detailed sound section why I picked the memory foam I borrowed the memory foam from the uh, my Sony's if you don't have memory foam ear tips you can order some from probably from comply they they make all these memory foam ear tips for a lot of different brands so you might want to look at that and see which size it is that you need or which ones will fit the CCAC 12 I'm thinking I didn't really look I never bothered to look in these three months because the Sony's work just fine for me the Sony extra ear tips that came with my extra bass it might be a T400 or T500 if you guys are curious on how these uh, earphones fit in the ears the way I found out was I looked at the pictures that, that came with these um, earphones on uh, the Amazon website and then what you do is depending if it's the left or right ear cup you're gonna have this part of the wire that's why it's made like this and it has this like it has more like plastic shielding than this part is because these are the ones that's going to make contact with your skin and your ears so it goes something like this connectivity with an impedance rating of 24 ohms these uh, earphones are very easy to drive um, you're not going to need a headphone amp like say my Empire or my monolith headphone amplifier they can be driven with any like mp3 player or if you have a high-res audio player like I have here with my pioneer any smartphone that you have like right here with the my v35 any smartphone that still has headphone plugs or if you use a dongle you can use a dongle on phones that don't have an ear earphone plug or a headphone jack and regardless of what I paired these with or plugged them into I plugged it in I plugged them into my laptop, my desktop, I plugged them into my smart TV, I plugged them into this V35 right here with my Note 10 Plus with the dongle, 
my old HTC Deluxe and my older um, Galaxy Note 4. Doesn't matter, any device that you plug, plug it with, the headphones will sound good. And they're easy to drive, so you don't need a headphone amplifier you can get good sound out of the box to whatever device you plug them into um, and really I didn't really notice a big difference in sound whether I plugged them into my smartphone or I had them plugged into the smartphone and the headphone jack or my laptop and a headphone amplifier they sound good regardless there weren't too many too much of a big difference when I have them plugged in solo with the device or with the said device and a amplifier although I will admit the with the exception of the Note 4 my HTC my Note 10 Plus and my LG uh, V35 all have um, pretty good dedicated um, codecs like high res codecs this dongle that I have plugged into my Note 10 Plus has a uh, DAC, a dedicated digital audio converter chip inside here to get better sound. Everybody knows that LG's uh, high-end smartphones like the V35 here and their newer ones or their older ones like the V20 which I used to have in the V10. They also have dedicated um, ESS Sabre DACs to get better sound out of the headphone jack and the HTC the so this old HTC um, deluxe also known as a droid DNA on Verizon also has a very good um, headphone deck and amp built into this thing as you can see this these are H one of HT HTC's first phones to have the uh, better sounding audio quality through the headphone jack and they have that beats audio logo which doesn't really mean anything all that matters is that it does have a i believe it had a two two volt amp inside this um inside the smartphone that can drive more higher impedance headphones the uh, note 4 i don't know if it has any kind of special DAC or amp built into the phone but regardless like i said it didn't matter any device that I plugged them into, the earphones sounded good. They did not need any amplification to get the best sound out of them. So connectivity in this case is very good. Five out of five stars. So with that connectivity out of the way, let me just say that the CCA C12, regardless if you have them amped up with a headphone amp or not, they sound really good they can get really loud provided you have good isolation and you picked the right ear tip for your ears you tried out you know you took your time tried out the different ear, ear tips they sound really good and they can get really loud and if you have treble sensitivities i somewhat have it then be careful and make sure you don't plug the make sure you don't plug in these earphones to your device without checking the volume first and seeing that the volume is not too high because these can wreck your eardrums um, I've been pretty lucky I mean getting on with my age I have found that even being in the military and you know working with like certain loud devices uh, I haven't had any um, problems so far knock on wood with my hearing as far as like I could still hear very good in the low end and I can still hear very good or fairly good or yeah, actually more so on the high end so that is one reason why I am using these memory foam tips that came with my Sony because with the memory foam ear tips it gives these earbuds or these earphones more a little more bass and it takes away some of the really high frequencies that some of us can be sensitive to like I said I'm not that sensitive but a little bit in louder volumes I can get a little bit sensitive to the uh, higher frequencies so as mentioned these 
earphones are multiple drivers, right? You have six drivers in each earpiece or in each unit. And what are the advantages of uh, having multiple drivers? Well, <clears throat> like I said in my unboxing, the reason why people get multiple driver, at least me, the reason why I get multiple driver in-ears or headphones is because the different drivers will power the different fre frequencies versus it's it's like this it's like listening to a 7.1 surround sound system versus listening to just like a, a sound bar or one small or one big bluetooth uh one big bluetooth speaker right if you just have one speaker playing your music or for watching movies you're not going to get the same immersive experience as you would get with like say a uh, surround sound um, home theater equipment that has everything. It has your subwoofers. It has your, you know, your center speaker, your satellite speakers that cover front, back, and sides and stuff like that. So that is why people like myself and maybe you would be interested in multiple driver earphones or headphones. And uh, yes, with the 12 drivers or six on each ear on these uh, CCAC 12s, I do notice more detail in the highs and the lows versus say something like um, my other favorite, my Soundcore Liberty 2 Pros. These are my favorite for the gym because they have good thump and bass and they have a lot of equalizations that you can put onto these. It even has a personalized hearing um, like software, Hear ID, where you can personalize the sound and everything. But with all that, this does not have any equalization software except what you would use on your phone or your um, audio player like on here. It has equalizers, my Pioneer. Even with that, um, I do notice more detail in the CCAC12. And that's saying something because the sound core they retail right now for like $150 like $149.99 and they get more detail they get more detail than the Pfizer dual driver earphones definitely more than those and comparing them to my other multiple driver headphones these are the Waves KT1s these have 12 drivers 6 in each ear cup Believe it or not, and this is a when the waves were brand new, they were like $300 headphones. Um, these in ear monitors have more detail than the waves, the $300 waves. So that is really saying something. I know certain people or certain like reviews are biased against anything made in China with these CCAs, with the, what they call. Chi Fi, um, Chinese hi fi market, but I'm telling you guys, you shouldn't be having that bias because you wouldn't have bias towards your iPhone, and your iPhones are made in China. That doesn't make them a lesser quality or, or anything like that. Um, sure, the software might be tuned by Apple themselves, but the actual hardware is made in China, and uh. I don't know what they CCA did for the tuning on these because they've been compared with even their KC counter, uh, KZ counterparts and um, they compared favorably sometimes even better than their KZ counterparts of these uh, earphones which I forget what the KZ's versions are called but if I forget it'll be I'll put it in the video it'll you'll probably see it popping up right now and um, yeah so that's what you're looking for when you're getting multiple driver earphones or headphones is you're hoping that it'll give you better clarity and better detail and sound as far as in all the different frequency ranges and these do deliver just that a lot and for something under fifty dollars that is saying a lot it's very very good for the price that you're paying for these they can give you more detail than similarly priced or even more expensive um in-ears or headphones 
Now as far as bass goes, they do have good bass. They have very punchy bass on the low end. But it's not overwhelmingly like overpowering all the other frequencies. And as you can guys can see here with these, uh, I put on these memory foam ear tips, not because they were lacking in bass in any sort of way, but only because I don't really wear in ears a lot. But if I want to wear in ears for long listening sessions, I'm going with memory foam because of the fact that memory foam is more comfortable inside my ears than silicone and also the memory foam for me it does um, soften up some of the harshness that you may get in the highs not to say that the CCAC 12s are harsh in the highs because even with the stock silicone tips the highs didn't bother me but like I said the reason why I like the memory foam is for mostly for comfort for longer listening sessions and to get a little bit just to squeeze out a little bit more bass than with the uh, stock ear tips so there is plenty of bass and it's got very good low end bass on these uh, CCAC 12 earphones and I don't even know if I should mention the highs because the highs I've already said um, they, they, they got really good highs and the highs, the treble are pretty detailed and they don't sound too harsh or sibilant like some other earphones or headphones that I've tried out. The highs are very good. Now mid-range, mid-range is also good. Mid-range is good for like, you know, when you're listening to vocals. I like to listen to a lot of vocals every now and then. Uh, a lot of um, rock and uh, pop ballads and um, they sound good. Um, especially if you're listening to female voices or female vocals these um, are probably one of the best earphones for that if you're listening to um, a lot of female vocals they have because they have very good vocals um, especially for females female vocalists or female singers so uh, yeah I don't know what else to add to that very good punchy bass very crisp very clear highs very clear and good sounding mid-range and vocals um, regardless of what you listen to these I've, I've listened to these uh, the types of music that I've listened to with these include um, bass heavy music like your house music uh, rap music hard rock and heavy metal music um, a lot of soft, slow jams, ballads. I watched movies on these things. I even played uh, some games with these. I played a third player, uh, not third, uh, first person shooting games with these. And they've all sounded pretty good. Especially with the 12 driver technology. If you're going to be playing games on these, of course you're not going to have a microphone if you plan on doing like uh, online gaming with teams and stuff like that. They're are not ideal because it doesn't have a microphone at least this one doesn't there are they they do have the ones with the microphone but like i said i believe the micro the wires with the microphone kind of degrades the sound quality so i usually get them without the microphone but regardless um playing games on these was pretty good also so yeah all around for the price under fifty dollars these are very good great sounding um earphones and covering all the frequencies with the these 12 um hybrid unit technology very good excellent even so that is our look at the cca c12 headphones or earphones i heartily recommend them especially if you're getting them with a prime amazon prime or regular amazon um you're getting them through there you should have no problems with them if you get if you get them defective or you don't like how they sound for some reason i don't know why you wouldn't like how they sound because they do sound great then you're getting a great set of in-ear you know earphones that perform well above their price range 
right now you can get them on Amazon for under $50 at the time of this review the ones that I got it from the link uh, from better brands they were $48.99 with a 5% coup 5 off coupon I mean I don't know how CCA does it or KZ audio for that matter but whatever they're doing um, keep up the great work because they're they are really coming out strong with all of their in your um i haven't seen too many bad reviews whether it's through kz cca sister company or cca themselves um if i didn't mention if you guys are curious i forgot to mention that maybe in the uh overview about the company cca cca stands for clear concepts audio and yes they are clear as far as in sound and in their concept and the audio is clear so very good for CCA these are really good I hardly heartily readily recommend them especially if you're gonna get them through Amazon because with Amazon you won't have no issues should you have a defective or if you're not with a defective unit or you're not happy with the sound you won't have problems with returns and refunds so that is it for my review of these uh, CCA C12 in-ear monitors, in-ear or earphones. <laughs> you can get them, like I said, on Amazon for $48.99 with a 5% off coupon. If you guys are interested in these or you want to get them or pick them up, Please use the link in my description as it does help out my channel and my charity, The Wounded Warrior Project. If you guys haven't already, follow me on Instagram at The Workout Geek for all my latest happenings and great workout tips. Till next time, everyone, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a fantastic day.